Catching Burmese pythons. Woo! Kangaroo was on the loose in Fort Lauderdale. What? In South Florida. Like I said, we're gonna do some exercises just to determine There's if There's no it. sense in it. Why not? Because I've been drinking. It seems like almost every other day, another wild headline makes its way out of the Sunshine State. So in this episode, we're counting down the craziest things that went down in Florida. Number one, the Florida Python Challenge. The Florida Python Challenge, an annual FWC-sponsored event calling on you. The Florida Everglades are an extraordinary and delicate ecosystem, and unfortunately, due to careless pet owners who let their snakes escape captivity, it's been overrun with tropical reptiles, like the invasive Burmese python, who have been wreaking havoc on the native wildlife. So in typical Florida fashion, the Sunshine State created the python challenge to help solve their pesky python problem. Catch Burmese pythons. Woo! The yearly challenge calls for locals to compete while catching pythons in the wild. Whoever catches the biggest snake wins $10,000. All you have to do is register with FWC. You do not need a license. There's also a cash prize for whoever catches the most snakes in total. Pythons lay anywhere from 8 to 100 eggs at a time, with an average being between 20 and 40, which is a big problem that conservation employees are trying to combat. Burmese pythons are invasive and apex predators. All they do is kill native Florida wildlife and pump out eggs. This Florida teen won by grabbing 28 pythons over a period of only 10 days. In 2019, this python hunter claimed the prize after killing a 17-foot-long, 132-pound snake. In 2021, a deaf man was the winner of the longest snake challenge. He said his senses were heightened and played to his advantage during the competition. Number 2. Runaway Kangaroo A strange sight today after a kangaroo was on the loose in Fort Lauderdale. Police in Fort Lauderdale got an unusual call about an unlikely escapee. In July of 2020, a kangaroo led police on a wild chase through the streets. What? In South Florida. For over 30 minutes, cops were in hot pursuit of the roo that had escaped. Not from the zoo, but from a private resident's home. That is, in fact, a kangaroo on the loose in Fort Lauderdale. Turns out this guy was living in a home just off of North Andrews Avenue and 15th Street, but he somehow got out and decided to go for a tour of Fort Lauderdale's streets. Body cam footage shows the animal hopping through the city into oncoming traffic. Police attempted to corral the fuzzy friend as you see him bounce towards one officer. Authorities were finally able to capture the foreign animal named Jack, who fled his home after his owner accidentally left his backyard gate open. They were able to catch Jack by putting a rope around his neck and taking him into custody. We, we actually captured the kangaroo. Once the kangaroo was safely inside the car, the police high-fived each other after completing a once-in-a-lifetime wildlife mission. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for the man who purchased Jack, it is illegal to own a kangaroo in his county. But thankfully, Kangaroo Jack was safely relocated to a nearby kangaroo-friendly neighborhood. Number three, lawnmower DUI. How much you have to drink tonight? Uh, a couple. In August 2020, 58-year-old Paul Burke was busted for driving a lawnmower on the highway while highly intoxicated. Police body camera footage shows a deputy approaching the driver. The deputy reported that he immediately smelled alcohol on Burke. The deputy asked Burke to take a field sobriety test, and he immediately responds with, uh, there's no sense in it because I've been drinking. Just take me to jail. Like I said, we're gonna do some exercises just to determine there's if There's no you're... sense in it. Why not? Because I've been drinking. Burke admitted that he had been headed home on his lawnmower after leaving his residence earlier in the day and just had been driving around his lawnmower aimlessly while intoxicated. Well, where are you headed? I'm just going home. Going home? Well, where are you coming from? My house. So you, you came from your house and you're headed to your house? Yeah. So what, you just started driving around on your lawnmower? Yes, sir. Still, the officer insists Burke attempt a field sobriety test, which he barely tries to perform, but halfway through, he stops and says he's unable to walk. I cannot walk like that. I can't. But why not? I've been drinking too much. 
Burke was driving down the middle of a highway where the speed limit is 55, going less than 10 miles per hour. And as it turns out, at the time of his arrest, his driver's license was currently revoked. Shocker. Listen to me, sir. Yes, sir. I have no license at all. Okay. I have no driver's license at all. Right. The man also had three prior DUI convictions and his license had been suspended or revoked seven different times. I'm trying to be the nicest guy as I can. He was also carrying two knives with a revolver and multiple rounds of ammo at the time of his arrest. 